Okay, here we are, Lena and yeah. Kathy <laughs> and Ty and I. Come on this way. And already we have beautiful stone steps at the Stanley Brook Bridge. Okay, Lena, go up the steps to your right. No, up the steps over here. So this is the beautiful Stanley Brook Bridge. And we have these lovely Millennial Rain steps. <laughs> Cappy's fine, honey. And oh, when was this bridge built? 1933, supposedly, according to that rock. Okay, our adventure begins. We're going to try to find Cobblestone Bridge. Okay, so we just got off the carriage road a little bit. Because we had to check out what was obviously a road right here. And lots of interesting stone and a stone face back in there. Some of this stone is machined, like it has the drill marks. This is so nice. There aren't vehicles in here, huh, Thai? And then we have some nice... Um, old pipe right here so you can see people biking by on the actual carriage road right there and we're just off it now they might be driving stuff in here and dumping it but I mean look at the size of some of those machined stones that's not just clearing <clears throat> a little bit of rubble out of the way very interesting Look at this. This is just a lovely little offshoot from the carriage roads. Oh, I love these kind of bridges. This is so gorgeous. This is right out of Narnia. <laughs> but in a good way. Oh. Can you hear the Pine trees. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to turn. We gotta go find our bridges, but isn't this it's a pretty magical spot, huh? Yeah. Okay, we found it, didn't we, Lena? And look at this. So they call this the cobblestone bridge. Even the bridge itself has these little turrets to it okay let's look. i'm just gonna look at it this way and then we can go down one of the side paths guys i mean like why would you put this in a bridge it's just that army corps of engineers no just kidding it's uh rockefellers guys so tour it over there Supposedly this is only rock faced, but it's made of concrete and rebar underneath. Bah! What do you think, Thai? Awesome. <laughs> okay, let's take the little path over here and go down to the stream. There's I know there's one there too, but let's look at these steps and then we'll cross over. <laughs> Okay, Lena, pizza in hand. Here we go. Beautiful steps beside this. Phone, dog, and baby in hand. <laughs> it's probably some great videography. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so 
So here we are coming across Jordan Stream. I'll let go of the dog a minute. So gorgeous. You know, this is the kind of spot where that guy was saying you might see fairies here. I mean, I just think people know it's magical. They just don't know how to explain it. It's okay, Lena. It's okay. He's getting a little swim. Wow. So these... Do you have concrete just kind of shoved in there? Hmm. If any of them are faced, you know, these are small stones on the outside of this thing. Let's look at the edge. Okay, nice old trees. Here's the turret from the bottom now. But then look at these huge stilts. These are not um, a facing, a thin, thin facing on it. But I suppose some of those cobblestones could be adhered to the outside. You know, not structural. I'll have to have there and look at this. But, oh, just gorgeous. And then this lovely little footpath beside it. Okay, so we just are coming up the carriage road here and off to our right we have private area no admittance and on the map I can see that this becomes private property but I just wanted to note how clearly this is a progression of the same carriage road right so you know some somebody gets to have their private residence or private property down there with seamless access. Now, I suppose they have a few less stones lining the path, but it's otherwise exactly the same building materials and, you know, really well done embankments on each side and road construction there. It then continues on here, but part is private and part is parkland you know and we're told uh oh i guess that just wasn't given over right rockefeller didn't decide to give give that one away i don't know um seems to me like they pick and choose what they give us right and then look at all of these stones let me get better light let's see this whole path on the right hand side where the ground has fallen away has been lined with these huge stones and sometimes a supporting wall. And I just want to point out how crazy it is to think of doing that before machines, uh, you know, ox cart type stuff to haul each one of these stones and place it. This is not even a bridge or anything. This is nothing noteworthy. This is just the carriage road everywhere. Okay, so one more interesting spot here where uh, the lovely maintained road turns to grass growing up and now a private area. Now, of course, I'd love to see what's in there. I looked at the map a little more closely and it is a hilltop. Makes you wonder what sort of ruins might be in there. But uh, with the stroller and all, I can't really do any exploring. But see that? that You know, they still even have the signs up here that say well, you used to be able to take that path to Seal Harbor. You know? But a uh, big intersection here of the carriage roads coming together 
but now that one is private area. But here we go. So gorgeous. Can't complain too much, even if they've uh, hidden and shut off parts of it. We're happy for what we can enjoy. Right, Gabby? Gabby. He's doing very well tied to the stroller. And uh, we've got our champion hikers are riding now. Let's see, what does this one say? Yeah, same thing. Seal Harbor that way. Okay. Here we go. On some sides of the paths, there's these beautiful rock walls. Fairly discernible here, mixed in with the moss and the dirt. Um, but clearly no small feet to line the path with these sort of things. There's some, goes right into rock there. And then let's watch this transition. Okay, so that looks like typical rock face. And then this is some crumbly spots. And then we have some placed stones. So fascinating. It's like seamlessly worked in. Okay, so here we are at another bridge. And just on the topic of facing, as opposed to actually being stone, being stone faced, you know, if the bridge itself is faced, they sure worked hard to place the approaching stone, our huge solid stones, not facing merely. And then as we look, the bridge itself, there's that one straight line, that's kind of interesting. But again, of this archway, those are solid stones. It's not like you could cut an L shape to go around, L shaped stones to round that corner. So, now, could some of this interior part be refaced? I suppose. Look at all that approaching wall and, and the main, you know, structure there, that, that edge, and then this, um, all these supports down here, that isn't facing. Ooh, echoing in here. I'll show you one more bridge on our way out back to the Stanley Brook Bridge. So we're told that these bridges were built the way they were to blend in with the surroundings. And I just gotta challenge that a little bit. <laughs> sure, they blend in as in they're made of natural materials uh, and they are gorgeous, just like the surrounding area. But so much attention was put into these. I mean, look at these stones. And that's just this outer edge. Well, no, we're not going to go up on it. Just keep walking along it. Okay. And then these huge stones on top, these are not facing. I mean, you can see that it's a giant stone, though it does have a very nice edge there, right where Thai's hand is running along. And then these details. I mean, it just speaks so much more of castle flourishes than of let's blend in with the surroundings. Look at these little grooves coming up. Like that one. And we can see that that stone all the way through, not facing. Uh, that's not necessary just to build something of stone to blend in with surroundings. There's more wider one looking at the roadway below. So that's the uh, car roadway. 
and we are up on the carriage trail. And then I forgot to show on the way out, so we did a big loop. And now we're back, but um, right there at the car and steps. I was trying to get everybody up here, but there's another perfect path down there that runs along the side of the carriage road for a long time. And it's not just a footpath over roots and rocks like you saw um, beside the other stream. This is a leveled path. See in the distance there how it's um, it's been worked very, you know, carefully uh, to be supported, kind of sticking out from the hillside there, dug out and level footpath um, beside this carriage road with the lovely stone steps going down to it. And I don't know the exact history, but I can say it has nothing to do with carriages or blending in with natural surroundings. It's like that was a huge amount of effort um, just to enjoy this gorgeous area. So, oh, it's just been delightful. And uh, <laughs> there's more, there's where the stone wall turned into stone. Very interesting. And um, now we'll see if the boys show up on, on bikes. <laughs> and what you doing, Thai? I'm sure they'll add a lot more bridges to the tour. But we got, let's see, we covered three bridges. So I'm pretty proud of us. <laughs> okay, one. So here we are beside the carriage road and we have this little water runoff spot okay but check out not only this beautiful stone uh, to deal with the water splashing down the hill here but then there's stone perfectly placed here to make a nice runoff and it continues up this now this is just a nothing embankment I mean it's just a, a hill that you are winding through the carriage roads but these flat stones making this perfect sort of gutter way off the hill are placed here and so I thought well is it just a few to deal with the erosion right near the path I mean that's still super impressive but I went up a little higher and dug a stick in here through the moss. I can still feel that there's a flat stone under there um, all, all along this edge. I mean, I didn't want to totally destroy it, but, and it appears like that, this may continue. So, you know, why does this perfectly placed, amazing water runway here? for no reason. And there it comes down to this nice you end and splash it. rock. Ooh, wintergreen? Yeah. Yum. Uh, not right now. No thanks. You want me to get some if you 